In this Florida Live teaching video, we address a very important clinical dilemma pertaining to endoscopic management of acute cholecystitis. EUS is an elegant technique for gallbladder decompression in non-surgical candidates as it eliminates the need for an external drain with its inherent risk of technical dysfunction and patient inconvenience. Given the superior clinical outcomes in randomized trials, the updated Tokyo and ESG guidelines favor EUS over percutaneous methods for gallbladder drainage in high-risk surgical patients presenting with acute cholecystitis. In a recent study published in GUT, we reported our experience with 25 consecutive high-risk surgical patients who presented with acute cholecystitis or sepsis and underwent EUS-guided gallbladder drainage via lumen-facing metal stents. At median follow-up of nine months, eight patients died of underlying comorbidity and 17 were alive. Nine of 17 patients were asymptomatic and eight continued to have biliary-type symptoms. Following EUS guided drainage, three symptomatic patients, that is 12% of the cohort, who had recovered clinically and were deemed not to be at high risk for surgery were subjected to robotic or laparoscopic cholecystectomy. However, the adhesions and large gastric fistula precluded minimal invasive surgery, and all three patients were converted to open cholecystectomy with prolonged operative time and hospitalization. Patients who may appear as high-risk surgical candidates at time of cholecystitis oftentimes respond clinically well to US-guided drainage, and their risk stratification can get downgraded to low or moderate risk status, at which point the presence of alarms can potentially preclude minimal invasive surgery, particularly if the endoprosthesis is placed by the duodenum and if surgery is performed by non-expert surgeons. Therefore, given the very important clinical and potential legal implications, we propose a practical algorithm to guide endoscopic management of acute cholecystitis. While laparoscopic cholecystectomy should be the treatment of choice in all low to average risk patients, those deemed inoperable at presentation should be stratified as never surgery or high risk patients. Never surgery patients are patients with severe respiratory diseases such as severe COPD and irreversible pulmonary hypertension, patients with liver cirrhosis and portal hypertension, patients with end-stage coronary artery disease who are not transplant candidates and those over the age of 70, active inoperable malignancies such as pancreatic cancer, and patients with severe or irreversible peripheral or cerebrovascular disease. Never surgery patients should undergo EUS guided gallbladder drainage as first line treatment option and should be considered destination therapy. High risk surgical patients will include those with potentially reversible comorbidity or those in whom the risk status cannot be ascertained accurately due to severity of clinical presentation. These patients should preferably undergo percutaneous cholecystostomy or ERCP with transpapillary cystic duct stenting as bridge to therapy. Clinical assessment should be undertaken at four to six weeks with minimally invasive cholecystectomy being performed in all patients who are operable candidates. In others, the gallbladder and cystic duct patency should be ascertained via contrast installation. If the cystic duct is patent and there are no gall stones, the drain or internal stent can be discontinued with the caveat that biliary symptoms can sometimes recur. In those with persistent cystic duct stones or residual gall stones, endoscopic or percutaneous methods can be reattempted for stone removal, followed by discontinuation of the percutaneous drain or internal stent. If such methods fail, US guided gallbladder drainage can be undertaken by lumen placing metal stent placement in lieu of an indwelling percutaneous catheter or perform periodic stent changes. While long-term adverse events due to an indwelling lumen posing metal stand has been reported to be 7-9%, there are no data on the management options. We suggest that in patients with limited life expectancy, the stents should be left to indwell. In others, the gallstones can be removed via the lumen posing metal stand, 
followed by endoprosthesis removal, or the luminoprism metal stent can be exchanged for double pigtail plastic stents. To know more, please read our open access publication in GUT to learn the latest cutting edge techniques and developments in interventional endoscopy. Please save the date for August 22nd to 24th, 2024 to attend Florida Live Endoscopy in Orlando, where the magic of endoscopy begins. If you want to learn evidence-based practices and know more about state-of-the-art endoscopy technologies, Please attend Florida Live Endoscopy from August 22nd to 24th, 2024 in Orlando, Florida, where advanced interventions will be performed by internationally reputed faculty from around the world. Please join us at Florida Live, where the magic of endoscopy begins.